Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Lynn and I decided a little bit last minute that I would go live. So if you are here, welcome. If you're watching me on Instagram, hello, say uh, hi in the comments. I cannot bring your comments up on screen like I can if you were watching from YouTube, but I can see them and I am um, reading them. So do comment away. Um, the reason why I decided to go live sort of last minute is because I have a really awesome giveaway to um, give out. And so I want more people to be aware of it. And um, I was just going to announce it during Crafty Fun with Friends, which starts in an hour. But uh, vertical live streams, the, the format that you're seeing now, it's more uh, optimized for watching on your phone. And at the moment, YouTube is actually uh, kind of advertising them a little bit more. And so I figured this is a good way to kind of get the word out because I want as many people as possible to be in for a chance to win this prize bundle. So for folks who have already popped in, hello to Elisa. Welcome, my friend. Jay is here. Hi, Pam. Welcome. Lanny, welcome. Christy, hi. I see Shanna on Instagram. And as well, um, Kali Pepper, welcome. And Ziamara is also on Instagram. Hi, friends, welcome. Okay, so let me um, first, <laughs> Jay, I love it. Jay says I like winning things. <laughs> yeah, and giving things away. You do a really good job, Jay, of, um, of giving away things. So very, very awesome. Okay, so um, I'm going to have a, a chat bot helping me with links over on YouTube, but I will try to um, post at least the giveaway link over to Instagram as well. In fact, uh, while I'm at it, let me do that now. Hi, Selmara. How's it going? Um, okay, so for folks who are interested, what you see here is the Crafty Meraki scrapbooking uh, exclusive bundle for the retreat that is on May 4th. It's the Meraki Scrapbooker Social, and it's a free virtual retreat. But if you want, you can purchase or possibly win from uh, Crafty Meraki the bundle that I'm going to show in a moment here. Now, this is a scrapbooking retreat, but you don't necessarily have to be a scrapbooker to join because the retreat is 100% free. It's going to be premiering on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. And again, that's gonna be on May 4th. You'll, um, you'll see some scrapbookers put together some amazing scrapbooking layouts. But a lot of the techniques they're going to share, I'm sure you can, if you are a card maker, uh, use those same uh, techniques, layouts, et cetera, in your card making as well. Welcome, Adelaide. Hi, friend. And so let me just dive in and show you. There's actually two bundles, but one of them is what um, you'll have a chance to win. This is the main retreat bundle. And you've got so, a jar. This is like a really a darling jar <laughs> of embellishments. And these are pretty cool. They have that AB, that Aurora Borealis finish. So like when I tilt it, you can kind of see it's rainbow colored. So you've got that. There's actually two paper pads that are 24 sheets. And these are an interesting size. These are actually six inches wide by eight and a half tall. So really, really fabulous. If you happen to make larger cards, like five by seven cards, um, you could use these. And if you like to make um, a two size cards, you can get two panels out of um, each sheet. So there's actually gonna be two paper pads in the main um, bundle here. And what I'm gonna show you is the main bundle and as well below this, I have the add-on bundle. But what the giveaway is for is the main bundle. So I have crafted with this already. So as I flip through, just bear in mind, this is not 100% complete because I've 
I've already crafted with uh, these papers. And uh, so this isn't a full paper pad. But you can see this one is um, Color Cascade. Look at how gorgeous these papers are. They are very, uh, some of them are very bright and fun, but you have some of these that are very um, soft and a good mix of the two on some of these. So really, really fabulous. And there's gonna be 12 unique designs. They are double-sided and it's not glossy. It's got a very nice uh, matte finish. So you can still do your inking techniques. You can stamp on these, you can, um, you know, alter them. I think I've seen some people glimmer on top of them. So really, really fabulous. And we've probably repeated by now. So I'm going to um, continue on so that we can actually make some cards because so, I will craft with, I'll craft with actually that last paper pad, the color cascade. And hi, Linda. Welcome. Linda says um, hello to everyone. And Pam says, love the bold colors. Yes, indeed. Samara says, uh, beautiful. Yeah, these page papers are really gorgeous. And I do love that this one is so different. This is Retro Blooms. So in this uh, retreat bundle, you know, if bold and bright isn't your thing, there's this, which is just lovely. I really, really, I've crafted with this a lot so that you're gonna see a lot of missing pages from this and so it's really beautiful lots of um really nice small repeat patterns which sometimes i find a little bit easier to craft with personally so this paper pad really just uh speaks to me a lot and and i love these colors because you have some that are very um, kind of saturated, but you've got some really soft colors, some florals, some geometrics, a little bit of everything, right? They're, they complement each other really, really well. So that is Retro Blooms. And then in the retreat bundle, you're going to get some die sets. So here you have this nested heart with the word love you. Really, really lovely. There's, this is a huge die set, folks. This is, um, how big is this? If I just measure the packaging, it is uh, seven inches wide, the packaging by nine and a half. So really, really lovely. This is the this is actually a relatively recent release. This came out just this year. It's called the Meraki Artist and Flora uh, Wreath Dies. And here's what you can make with it but it's a lot of individual flowers so really really lovely so that comes included with the main bundle now those that i just showed they are previous releases you can get them individually if you don't happen to win but you're liking what you're seeing you can pop on over to crafting meraki and pick those up this though this is an exclusive to the retreat bundle. This is not available for sale outside of the retreat bundle. This is called the English Rose Layering Stencil. And so you have different stencils. You can kind of, I won't take it out of the packaging, but you know, each of the different colors that you see is a different stencil. So it allows you to easily kind of color those up with different colors. So this is a, um, three stencil set and it's really lovely you can create you can see how big this is let me measure it real quick uh, great for some line cards so four inches by nine so really perfect for slim line and the nice thing about this is that you can if you wanted you could very easily just pick out like one little cluster if you wanted you don't always have to do the entire border but for folks who do 12 by 12 scrapbooking, that would be like a really lovely option to just border your layout with this. So that's an exclusive that's not available in uh, stores outside of this bundle. Then moving on, we have, now I don't know how many folks know about the Effortless Artistry papers. They are really fabulous. I have, um, I'm really digging them. And actually, uh, just earlier this month, a new set of EAP, uh, which is what it's known for for short, just came out. And I can't wait to get my hands on that. But if you've never heard of it before, it's a collection of a coordinating stamp, dies, 
and the paper pad. Now, what's unique about the paper pad is that um, you can kind of see I've, I've crafted with this. This is hand colored, alcohol ink colored by hand by some of the super talented Crafty Meraki design team. And you get in each of the um, paper pads here, you have this colored in four different ways. So you're going to have multiple sheets of these gorgeous florals colored in four different ways, four different styles of coloring too, four different color combinations. So this is really lovely. So, you know, if you're not, if you don't have the time or you're just not interested in coloring, <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really, really fabulous because you can um, have these pre-colored images, but they're colored by hand. So they still have, look at all of the shadows and the highlights and the texture. For me, that would be hard to achieve, especially this one. This is a no-line coloring. Look at that. I'm not that talented of a colorist, so... Hi, Carrie. Welcome, my friend. And so I I would struggle to color that well. And so this is really, really fabulous. Hi, Lamont. Welcome. Hey, Terry. Nice to see you. Hi, Linda. Welcome. And if you're hearing me call out names um, over on Instagram, those are folks who are, have joined over on YouTube. <laughs> and so what's great about the EAP is that you have coordinating dyes that will cut all of these elements out. So you can get all of your sentiments, you can get these cut out. And with the new EAP that just released earlier this month, I think actually just last week, the there's a single die. Like these are individual dies, so you still have to kind of position them. But with the new set, it's actually a single die that will cut out everything, which is just phenomenal. So the nice thing about this is that, um, if you do like to color, though, there is a stamp set that, that pretty much looks exactly like this, right? So there's a stamp set that has the outline to stamp out these two floral sprays and all of the sentiments. And so you can, if you want, get the stamp, you can get the coordinating dies, and you can get the EAP. So if you like to color or you need to color up something like really specific to your project, then the EAP is a great option, especially since it does have uh, four different colorways. Now for folks who are joining, what I'm doing is I'm going through the giveaway <laughs> that I will be, uh, or actually Crafty Meraki will be uh, giving away as they've given me permission to give away one of these retreat bundles. This is for the scrapbooker, um, Meraki Scrapbooker Social free virtual retreat on May 4th. And so this bundle, I am at the end of it. This is the last thing I'm showing that's part of the bundle. It's valued at $172. So folks, invite your friends, like this stream, get folks coming so that all of your friends can have a chance to win this. Uh, Crafty Meraki has donated an extra bundle to me to give away to my audience. So uh, do, do uh, check that out. And for folks on Instagram, I did share a link. And for folks on YouTube, in case, um, in case, Streamlabs has not popped the link in. Let me go ahead and post it now so that you have access to the link. And for anyone watching now, if you are on YouTube, hang tight with me on till the end of the stream. And if you want to catch Crafty Fun with friends at 2 p.m., um, this stream will redirect to that one. And for anyone who's watching on Instagram, I will be streaming a Crafty Fun with Friends episode directly after this stream. So you can, you can pop on over to YouTube if you want to join us there. So this is another exclusive. So this is the second exclusive that is part of this bundle that you cannot purchase outside of this bundle. And this is actually a set of layering stencils. And it's not a coincidence that it looks a lot like this. <laughs> Because what you can do is, you can see I, I've already used this, you can actually stencil those two sort of uh, sprays of tulips. And this 
matches exactly the coordinating dies. And this will match the stamp set too. So if you wanted, you could get the stamp, you can get the stencils, which is an exclusive as part of this bundle. You can get the EAP and you can get the coordinating dies. This set of coordinating dies is a workhorse, folks, because it will cut out your stamped images. It will cut out your stencil design and it will cut out the EAP. So it's so wonderful how everything has been coordinated. And again, if you are not like huge into coloring, this is a really good option of really quick coloring with uh, just pouncing through your stencil. So I think that's, um, <laughs> that's a fabulous option. And I love, <laughs> Pam, you're so funny. Pam says over on YouTube, um, if we invite people, it lowers our chances of winning. <laughs> I'd rather be greedy than nice. <laughs> Fair enough, Pam. That's so true. That is so true. <laughs> um, oh, hey. Uh, thank you to, oh, Cordelia. Hello, my friend. And thank you to Elisa. She just became a member of my YouTube channel. Thank you and welcome, my friend. I think it's great that you got that sorted. Um, I know, Carrie, it's it's really fabulous, isn't it? I just love, because I'm not that great at coloring, so I really, really love the stencil. But then, you know, so that you still have the option to kind of, like, customize your coloring. Um, so I need to actually get the stamp set because I that's the one thing I don't have, um, but it is available for sale. So that is the main bundle and that is what you can win. So in order to have a chance to win what I have copied into the chat, and I'll do it again for all of the folks over on Instagram who might've just joined, there is a raffle copter link. And I just posted the raffle copter to Instagram and I posted it a moment ago over on YouTube. Hi, um, Beck Ann, welcome my friend. And hey, Amalia. And so did I say when the winner would be announced? No, I have not. Okay, so folks, when you go to that raffle copter, you're gonna notice that you have X amount of time. I'm actually going to leave the giveaway open for the entire weekend. So you have this entire weekend to enter for your chance to win. And I will announce the winner to my YouTube channel, um, likely to my community page. And that way um, you can check, I'll try to do it on Monday to see if you've won, all right? And do check on Monday to see if you've won because for all of my giveaways, I always, I just give you 48 hours to claim your prize. And that's so that we don't have, you know, a month later, <laughs> like the stock has been held for the giveaway of this bundle. And so, um, so you're guaranteed to get this even if the bundle sells out or has already sold out. I'm actually not too sure myself. And so, but you will definitely get this, but you know, if you wait too long, I don't want it to be the case that it might um, go out of stock or it might have been kind of given away or debundled. <laughs> so uh, check on Monday. If you are the winner, you'll have 48 hours to claim your prize. Also, um, for folks, you know, okay, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know 100% if uh, what the situation is with this. If you like your bundle and you did not win, you um you can order it last i checked it's still available so i don't think it's sold out but if you now this is the thing i don't know because it's limited supplies uh, first come first serve while stock lasts but if you um buy it or if you were early to buy this bundle these were free giveaways included so like I said, at the moment, I don't know if there's still stock of these because it was just while supplies last, um, but you could have gone, possibly can still if you order. Um, this is the Pink Fresh Rainbow Sentiments. This is Pink Fresh Foiled Sentiments. And this is just a cute little Crafty Meraki die. Um, Jay wants to know, can my, can, I enter as my pets too. <laughs> Not for this one. <laughs> Unless they've learned how to fill in a form and create an account and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so the giveaway will not include the freebies. Okay, folks, the giveaway will not include the freebies. 
Now, for anyone who is interested in picking up the bundle, possibly picking up some more Crafty Meraki um, supplies, if you do buy the bundle and this add-on bundle, you're going to get this at 50% off, this bundle of goodies. So there's a really fabulous fabulous price. Now, I said the retail value of that bundle that I showed earlier was $172. I don't think I think it's getting sold at a discount from that. So, um so you'll have to check. I don't uh sorry, I didn't check the details. But let me first um go through this quick add-on bundle for you and then we'll start making some cards. So, in the add-on bundle, again, I've already crafted with this, but you'll get two 6 by 8 and a half paper pads. This one's Lux plaid. And it's gorgeous, folks. Look at all those plaids. I love the diagonal plaids and the the straight um, plaids. It's really, really, this is just gorgeous. I've crafted with this. I made a, um, actually, I did some live streams where I was making a mini album um, with these. I still have to finish that, folks. <laughs> so if you caught my earlier mini, um, live streams where I was crafting with this for the love of flowers and the Lux, um plaid papers i still need to finish that project that we started together so this is another gorgeous this is so springtime i just love it it's it's fabulous um and again these are you get 24 sheets these are a really nice large size six by eight and a half and um it's just really fabulous lots of i love paper pads that have like a like a subtle but you know could easily be used as a solid just love it love it love it love it um so very very cool um elisa hi there is a link to raffle copter in the chat so um thank you pam for helping her out if you do scroll up you'll be able to find that link and so that is for the love of flowers. Now, again, I'm going over the add-on. This is the add-on bundle, not the giveaway. <laughs> um, the uh, add-on also comes with several dies. So you have this mini slimline die. So you can see that even though this bundle was curated for a scrapbooking retreat, these are all card making dies. These are all just beautiful paper crafting dies. So you can use these really on any of your projects. They're just beautiful. And um, you can see there's lots of florals in this bundle. <laughs> Pam, Pam says, shoot, I was accidentally nice and just decreased my chances. Um, this has two dies, no, three dies, sorry. But it creates this really lovely. Um, we did that during the live stream of my of my uh, mini album. Okay, so that was the add-on, folks, which you can get at a fabulous deal if you want to buy the two bundles together. So, what are we doing today, though? Today, we are going to. I'm gonna. Um, do my mini one sheet wonder number nine, but not really. I <laughs> I have this, this just released. If you want to check this out, you can um, go to my YouTube channel. I have a tutorial showing how to achieve this cut of cutting down a single sheet of six by six pattern paper and then creating these four A2 size card sketches. So if you want to do that and actually follow along with this, then check out my video on my channel today. What I've done is I've already cut this and I am not going to make four A2 size cards. Instead, I'm going to make two five by seven cards. And this was inspired by Terry. She actually showed me a, um, she took a picture of, I think, I don't think it was her final card. Uh, um, and I don't know if Terry has shared it, but Terry said that she um, turned these into five by sevens, or at least one of the sketches into a five by seven. And I thought, how fun, let me do that. So that's what I'm going to do today. But if you want to see actually how to make um, uh, these and specifically those four cards, then pop on over to my channel. Channel members, um, this is a free printable for you. So if you are a member of my channel you can get the printable for free if you are not a member of my channel you can buy this for a dollar fifty as a digital download so i don't like to charge a lot for it but 
because mainly this is a way for me to give some added benefits to my channel members so that they get some nice free perks for being a channel member. At the 99 cent level, you always have access to the most recent mini one sheet wonder. At the moment of this live stream, this is the most current one. So you'll have access to this one until number 10 comes out which I don't know when number 10 comes out. I don't do these on a regular basis. <laughs> they come out when they come out, folks, whenever inspiration strikes. All right, folks. Hello, Brenda. Welcome, my friend. Okay, so, oh, thanks, Shanna. Uh, Shanna says cool sketches from, uh, she's watching from over on Instagram. So this is how the cuts are. Um, and I took one of Color Cascades, because remember, this is not a six by six paper pad. This is a six by eight and a half paper pad. So what I've done is I trimmed it to six by six. And then I, let's put, let's put it all together. It's like Humpty Dumpty. I got to put it all together again. So this is how that page looked originally. I trimmed this off so that I have six by six. Then I just followed my own cutting guide and I cut it accordingly. And now I've got my pieces. So let's start with our first card. And I hope, I hope I'm able to finish both cards. I think I will. I have a good half hour left to do this um, because we, we do have to end um, a little bit before hopefully Crafty Fun with Friends, which starts at two. <laughs> okay, so here is my five by seven card base. And then I've got my, um, uh, this matte layer. Let's see, what did I cut that to? I have cut this to four and three quarters by six and three quarters so four and three quarters by six and three quarters and then oh lamont lamont's on top of it he says i already have a separate tab open for the other for crafty fun uh thanks friend okay so for this first card i am going to use i taped these together so that because i had so many things stacked on top of it i didn't want it to move so i'm going to use all four of these uh angled pieces let me let me unattach them from one another so as with any sketch that you see out there feel free uh to just make it your own and do whatever with it you'd like so yes this is my own mini one, one sheet wonder but i'm not following it at all <laughs> pretty much um oh is pam bouncing <laughs> where are you going pam see you pam bye okay so one of the neat things about this particular mini one sheet wonder is especially if you use double-sided papers like i am today you have you have some options so you can flip to the back oh oh man i'm second guessing my plan now folks so here's what i was gonna do i was going to i was going to use all of these but separate them out a little bit so it kind of has almost like a stained glass look to it so it's all the same pieces just configured differently so you can see they're not, it's not how it was originally cut. So originally, let's see if I can figure out how this was originally. <laughs> originally, these pieces went a little something like that. Okay. And it was, that was the top and that was the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to flip this there, put this here. So folks in the chat, if you're watching, which side do you like better? Do you like that color, pink and yellow? So wherever you're watching from, let me know. This one, pink and yellow, or should we go more the cool tones and go with blues? What's everybody's thinking? So that's going to be, well, you let me know that. Pink or blue, folks, pink or blue, let me know. That's going to be the first uh, five by seven card. 
my next five by seven card, I'm going to start off with a card base. I'm going to go with black. And I have cut this to four and a half. This is smaller, folks. Four and a half by six and a half. And what I've done is, um, remember these two pieces? They were like little triangles off of that six by six. So I'm going to do like a radiating raise. And remember I said there were um, that extra bit at the bottom there from the six by eight and a half. So this is uh, two and a half by six. I just cut those into triangles and I'm gonna use them here. And I'm gonna create something like a little starburst kind of pattern like this. And we'll put something in the corner to kind of mm -hmm. hide that, all right? So that's gonna be card number two. So let's see what folks are saying. I've got, um, Elisa says pink and yellow. Lanny says pink and yellow look best with the black. Oh, wait, let's bring that back. Um, and let's uh, let's bring so that you can kind of see our options. Uh, Adelaide loves them both. Oh, hey, Lynn, welcome. Lynn says pink. Brenda says blue. Cordelia says pink. I think pink won, it sounds like. So that's what we're going to go with. All right, so a little something like that. It's like a puzzle piece trying to put everything back together again. <laughs> okay, the key to working with this um, sketch, folks, is that when you cut this down, you're gonna have, for each of these tr wonky trapezoid pieces, there's actually two 90 degree angles that are like kitty corner from one another, like opposite ends. So look for the 90 degree angles and that's what you can kind of put in the corners if you want like a nice mat. And you know, you can then rotate it, you can then flip it and put it in any which corner that you want. Um, but that's what that's what to look for is um is those corners. So what I'm gonna do is figure out, I think I'm gonna do what's the spacing for this here? Something like that. Um, maybe I need to cut a smaller mat. Should I do something like that? No, let's space it out more. Go a little something like that. Um, so I always find that when I'm working with like really bright colors that black is uh, nice to mat onto because it just makes those colors really pop. Um, you would think that it might make everything kind of look dark and, and dreary because maybe sometimes that's what's associated with black, but it's the contrast between the dark and the super bright that I think, you know, helps to make it really stand out. So I am gonna get this down first. And I can put this one down first because I'm actually, I don't need to trim off of the edge. There's gonna be a black border around everything. And the, uh, hi Cindy, welcome, <laughs> Jay. I don't, uh, wishful thinking, Jay. Jay says, wait until a die comes out. <laughs> I hope a die comes out. Uh, I can tell you a die has not been planned. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, because I literally, Jay, I don't know if you remember, I literally made this sketch like moments before Crafty Fun with Friends where uh, the, the last Crafty Fun with Friends episode. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna do something like that. And I'm gonna use liquid adhesive to, I wonder, yeah, I'm gonna stick, let's stick to stick to plan A, folks. This might look a little bit, let me try something else out, just a different configuration. What if I did that? And, cause remember you can put these in different, a different order if you want. You just look for those um, right angles and, Ooh, that 
Oh yeah, look at that. That okay, that fills out that fills things out a little bit better. I feel like I get more even borders. So I'm gonna go with that configuration. And so that's what we're gonna so we're gonna go with with that. And then what I'm gonna do is use some liquid adhesive to glue this down. So we're gonna go with, hey, Victor, welcome my friend. Victor's joining us over on Instagram. Hi friend, how's it going? All right, so I am gonna get these down. So folks who happen to join late, I am giving away a Crafty Meraki Scrapbooker Retreat exclusive bundle valued at $172. It's a big bundle, folks. So if you want to be in for a chance to win that, in the chat, wherever you are watching from, there will be a link to Rafflecopter. Pop on over to Rafflecopter, do whatever it says there, and you have this weekend. So folks who are on the hashtag replay crew, we love our replay crew, uh, you have a chance too, okay? So I wanted to make sure that if you're watching on the replay that you also have a chance to enter. You have all weekend long. Um, and wherever you are watching from now, Hang tight to the end because this stream will redirect over to Crafty Fun with Friends, which starts at 2 p.m. At the moment, I am crafting with my mini one sheet wonder number nine, which is my latest and greatest mini one sheet wonder. And it is available for free as a printable to my YouTube channel members. And so that's a little bit of an added perk for you all. And for anyone who wants to just play along, um, you don't need the printable. My tutorial has everything. I show you exactly how to cut everything. I give you all the measurements. I show you the sketch layouts. Today I'm supersizing things and uh, not following the sketch at all. I'm actually doing a five by seven instead of two five by sevens instead of four A twos. Hi, Yvette, welcome my friend. Um, I bet you are always producing a video whenever, <laughs> whenever it's, uh, you're joining my live streams. Okay. So what I thought I would do is I need a big triangle. Where's my, where are my dies? Um, so this die set that I have used here. That's actually from the add-on, okay, folks? That's from the add-on, which is not part of the giveaway. And I am, I think I want one big star, and I did some of these, like, little holographic stars, which I thought would be fun, because look how cool that looks. And then I've got this, um, this die set has birthday wishes in it, so I thought... So I've cut it out of some hollow paper, holographic, which I also have cut out of black. So I can always do like a little bit of a little bit of a drop shadow behind here. Oh yeah, that's coming together. Okay, I think. Well, I have the holographic, but I also have pearlescent, which I don't know. I, I kind of like the holographic to be honest. So I think I'm going to go with that. And then we'll pick out some stars to add this to, but I feel like I need one big star. Uh, I don't have the biggest star. I cut, I cut myself some little stars because there's like, this is a great um, die set, folks, by the way, because it's got nested slimline rectangles and then nested stars as well. Hey, Victor. Victor says it's going to be great. Canadian Scrapbook Carnival in Calgary has exclusive new adhesive washi sets. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember you announced that last time I was live streaming and crafting with this bundle. So that's so fabulous that you're going to be at the Scrapbooker um, Expo. And how exciting that there's going to be some new, new product. 
I love the washi sheets. Are those the, um, Victor, are those the six by six washi sets? Sheet? Is it the sheets or is it just new washi, like washi tape? Because I love those six by six sheets. Those were so cool to craft with. Hey, Dawn. Welcome, my friend. Don't forget, friends who have joined late, This there is a giveaway. I, uh, if you want to catch the replay, you can see what I'm giving away. It's the Crafty Meraki um, Scrapbooker Retreat Exclusive Bundle. Now, I feel like I want... Uh, okay, maybe one big star that's in black just so that we can get the birthday sentiment started on top of it and then I'll do some of these extra stars in hollow and I don't know should we do any stuff should there just be I feel like I need at least two black stars just to break up some of that color and maybe something a little something like that. Hi, Annie. Welcome, my friend. Um, okay, I have more bits if we need more bits, but I am going to... Oh, good! Victor says six by six adhesive sheets are going to be available. Hey, Victor, are those going to be available to buy at the on, on your shop also? Or is it just for the Calgary scrapbook expo can we can we get them from your shop too is pam still here because i know her husband does this glue trick last time i did it it seemed no one else in the chat <laughs> was a put glue on your hand kind of person all right so i'm gonna offset this a little bit so we've got that All right, Annie says two big black, one small star with the silver. Thanks, Annie. I might, I might though, still go with uh, two of the hollow stars so that we have, like, you know, rule of thirds, right? So there'll be one hollow thing will be the sentiment, and then I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna feel the need to have a second and a third hollow thing, so. That's sort of my thinking there, but I can be possibly convinced otherwise. We'll see. We'll play along with it and see if we just need one or if two feels right. So let's get this on here. And this is really only just so that we get a little bit of a shadow under this and that way it kind of lifts from the background a little bit since that background is so colorful all right so there's that give that a moment to dry i do have the the little uh they're called tittles <laughs> oh hey delise delise knows these are called tittles <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny word to say okay I have them all I just need to make sure I find them oh I see them I'm gonna layer these up too oh man this is this is hard all right um hey Delise I'm doing a giveaway so if you want to win the scrapbooker Retreat bundle valued at $172. Scroll up for the Rafflecopter link. And you have all weekend long to join. Okay, I don't think I matched those quite right, but you know, it's it's on. It's there. <laughs> We're rolling with it. I think it's I think it's um <laughs> Delise says, yeah, she knows I can't say it without sounding like a different word. It's, I think it's T-I-D-D 
L E Tiddle. And Victor says, new styles for the 6x6 adhesive sheets are, ooh, ladybugs. Oh, Delise, you're going to be really excited. Victor over on Instagram just says that he's releasing new 6x6 adhesive sheets in these new styles. Ladybugs, lemons, and neon colors. Neon colors, Delise. It's got your name on it. Um. And he says it's going to be available for retail on the High Supply Direct website in May. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, so here's my thinking, folks. And I think I'm going to do a little something like that. Birthday wishes. The nice big star. And then I think I'm gonna do a little, a little star business here. Or yeah, maybe just to break break it up a little, something like that. Oh, it's it's spelled. Oh, okay. Lanny's got us here. Here we go. Lanny says it's spelled. T I T T L E. So kind of like little, but with a T instead of an L at the beginning. Um, jot and tittle, countable and uncountable, plural jots and tittles. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> um, interesting. I've never seen that definition of it. I always thought it just referred to the little dot at the top of the I's and J's. Somebody somebody told me that. Delise told me that. I, I think I knew before, but I think she definitely reinforced it. Um, okay, so let's get rolling, folks, because I do want to make that second card before Crafty Fun starts. Uh, maybe something a little bit like that. And then... Um, let's see... Folks, I need my 3D glue gel. I think I'm almost out. Hold on. I'm not out, folks. Don't worry. I'm never out of 3D glue gel. <laughs> Just almost out on this syringe. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, Victor says, I love your cards. May is a big month for birthdays. Oh, thank you, Victor. You're so sweet. Do you know, do you have a lot of family and friends with May birthdays? I have a lot of um, family with June birthdays. Is everybody ready for Mother's Day? I've already started seeing um, cards and inspiration for Mother's Day. And oh my gosh, I darn near almost had a heart attack. I thought I missed it or something. <laughs> It's so early for Mother's Day inspiration, uh, which I think is May 12th. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, so this is 3D glue gel, which I love using. You could also just die cut this a uh, few times. Oops. And uh, get your dimension that way. But I like using my glue gel. And the thing is, if, if you get a little bit that spreads out where you don't want it to, um, it can you can just rub it away with a gum eraser. Whoa! <laughs> Landslide. Okay. I'm going to be able to look this. Let's see. Plenty of time also for nudging it around a little bit. Okay, there's that down. And then, oh, Annie says Nurses Week is May 6th through the 12th. Very cool. I did not know that. That's good to know. Um, also, while we are sharing news, did everybody see the news that Not Too Shabby is having a virtual retreat? Yay! I'm so excited for that. That's happening in September. So plan ahead, folks. September 14th 
and 15th. So many fun virtual retreats, which I think is really great because it's, I know we're not in lockdown anymore, but not everybody can kind of travel or has like a local, you know, crop or, you know what I mean? Like get together, crafty get together. So these virtual retreats, I think are really fabulous because kind of like what we do every weekend with crafty fun, it's, it's nice to just hang out a little bit, have a nice little chat, craft together a little. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And this is not exactly, I think, how I position things when I did my little dry run, but that's okay. I think I had this, the birthday up higher, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let's see. Now, where did my tittles go? <laughs> oh, friends. Ah, uh, the silliness is already kicking in. And I'm just by myself. Usually the silliness ensues when I'm crafting with others <laughs> on screen. <laughs> okay, so let's get this. Uh, let's get the shadows going the same direction, shall we? Oh, no. It fell. All right, so... That right there. And here's the other one. I love holographic paper. So pretty. Look at that. Boop, boop. Okay, so there's that. And then, hey, Susan, welcome. Um, Lamont says, New York City doesn't seem to have a local crafty expo and the Michaels near me closed. Oh, did they do classes, Michaels? Um, oh, Susan says she already pre-ordered her kit. Yay, that's awesome. Um, okay, so, <laughs> oh, cool. Delise is over on Instagram too. Delise, you can ask Victor about, um, you can ask Victor about the uh, <laughs> the adhesive sheets if you want. So, okay, I am keeping an eye on time. Oh my gosh, I have eight minutes. Let's let's get this going, folks. I may not I may not finish that second card. You'll see pictures of this uh, online when it's. Because at um, pretty much the kind of cut it, because we are we are cutting it close. I am going to end this stream so that we can all pop on over to Crafty Fun and over on Crafty Fun. Weekend, we are crafting with more sketches. So today I'm doing my own, but. In a moment, we will be crafting Kendra's card challenge number 14. So do join us for Crafty Fun if you are hanging out with us this weekend or on the Repay crew. And I am just going to... Jay, <laughs> I caught a glimpse of, glimpse of that comment. <laughs> Uh, I'll read it in a moment, but I think it's it has the tone of Lynn not finish a card. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Oh, I can't put it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure. Wait, yes, that's what he says. <laughs> Jay said Lynn not finish your card. I don't think that's ever happened before. <laughs> Um, oh, Delise. Okay. Uh, Delise said that, that Instagram doesn't let her see the previous comments. So, Victor, do you want to fill Delise in on any details about the adhesive sheets? She's a big fan of neon. So, you might have a built in customer already <laughs> in Delise with, um, 
your neon six by six. Okay, let's. Okay, folks, how fast can we make this second card? All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, five by seven. I think this is four and a half by. I think this is four and a half by. What did I say earlier? Six and a half. And so I am going to. Gonna get this going. All right, everything's cut. So all I'm gonna aim to do is get these triangle pieces hanging off the edge so that I can get like this sort of sun ray effect going. A little something like, a little something like that. Okay, that's what that's what we're going for, folks. Let's get it done. Can I do this in four minutes? Likely not. <laughs> Somebody give me a countdown, all right? <laughs> Don't let me go over. <laughs> we can't miss. We can't miss my own crafty fun with friends episode. I am keeping an eye. I think all of my guests are um, are ready to go over on the Crafty Fun stream. And I see folks are already over there. So uh, thanks, friends. All right. So now this is actually one of the, or at least similar to one of the four sketches that is part of the original mini one sheet wonder. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go with the pale. Um, and so I've just altered it a little bit so that it fits a five by seven. And the reason why I didn't glue the black down first is so that we can trim these off of the edge, nice and flush against that black edge. So I know, I know you all will forgive me if I don't actually finish this card because, like Jay said, it's not like it's never happened before that I <laughs> that I haven't finished a card on one of my live streams. But I'm really darn close, folks, because this one is a fast one. You know, this is a really good sketch for um, scraps. If you have like a lot of those two-inch scraps, just cut them, cut them into triangles, and then do that. Um, super easy. Okay, then let's get this down onto. Boy, that first card took a long time. I'm surprised. Oops. All right. You know, and I don't know why I always think the, um, I always think it makes sense to radiate from this bottom left corner outwards. I'm not sure why, but my eye always sees it as that being the most logical. And I did already prepare that and that for my corner here. Maybe a little something like that. Isn't that cool? So the these hearts are from the um, one of the die sets. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do something like that. This is actually one of the sentiments from um, the Pink Fresh freebie pack. So let's get these down. Although to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna glue that down because I I feel like I might want to. I feel like I might want to have a um a black sentiment, you know, because because we have the black in between. I feel like I want a black sentiment here. So might do that. Okay. All right. So we have this here. And I think Crafty Fun is gonna start soon, folks. So we might and this stream here and then i'll just have my um sentiment to add 
So thanks everybody for joining me. And if you just hang tight, you'll get a link to redirect over to Crafty Fun with Friends, which will start in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Don't forget to um, enter for a chance to win the Crafty Meraki um, retreat bundle. And hope to see you over on Crafty Fun, everybody. Bye. Hi folks, uh, Bo, Kathy, for folks who joined in late, hello, and hope to hang tight, hope to see you over on the next stream. Bye.